I'm Mike Doherty. I'm Head of Careers and Higher Education at Camford School. I've been in this role for 13 years now, which seems a rather long time. Um, previous to that, I was a parent of my child. My eldest son came here in 1999. So my background is uh, in training and development uh, in organisations and one thing that I uh, recognised was uh, Camford pupils have a lot of activities they get involved in but, not, but in the past they didn't really recognise the skills that they were developing by doing very many activities. So a key thing was being able to identify what skills they were developing and then secondly being able to evidence them. Because my background also included interviewing and to make sure that uh, our pupils could actually articulate clearly what they could bring to an organisation or to a group that they were joining. And I think probably Camford has been over the last four or five years very effective at helping its pupils identify the, the many skills they've got and being able to develop and, and, and demonstrate them with effectiveness. The other aspect which was important was to make sure that people's uh, abilities to do, um, could, they could understand what would be required of them when they were applying for jobs or internships or whatever and to get a program of doing um, interviews, practice and also we then started developing um, some pupils to actually train them in being interviewers and they are now involved in a pupil panel where they interview all new staff, which I think has been a really significant move. Um, we've also run mini assessment centres so they understand what's in an assessment centre and what they need to do in those and also <clears throat> developing their presentation skills. So we hope that people will at least know what to do and how to go about it when it comes down to that difficult uh, decision of um, what do I do after I leave school. Part of my role is to support, and we have one teacher who's responsible for Oxford and Cambridge applications, um, and I've done quite a lot of preparation for pupils of, for this. So I think we do a good job by getting pupils geared up and thinking about what they need to do to be effective in their application uh, well in advance of when it comes, uh, comes to the time to apply. And we've had quite a lot of success of getting people certainly in front of professors and dons at Oxford and Cambridge and over the last two or three years we've actually um, regularly achieved um, nine or ten places. So we're pleased with the way that that's going especially in the time where there is a, a, a real emphasis on widening participation. There are a lot more options now than just going to a UK university, so we do have quite a lot of uh, people who certainly show initial interest in overseas universities, particularly the US, but also uh, more and more looking at some of the European options, uh, which are, um, are, are pretty strong, not just for language development either. Um, so I'd say over the last few years on average we've had three or four people apply and successfully apply to go into US universities and two or three into um, European ones. The other options are school leaver programs and um, degree apprenticeships. Degree apprenticeships are a really strong way of building a career profile and a, and, and a skills profile and you end up with a degree as well. So both of those are good options. However, 95% of our pupils tend to go to university. 75% of our pupils go to the top tier Russell Group universities, which sets them up pretty strongly for their future career. Uh, we have a careers convention every year where about 80 or 90 uh, parents and OCs come back to tell uh, uh, Comfort pupils what their careers are about and what their roles are and to help give them support and information about that. One of the things that we've developed is a one-to-one -one networking session where all the pupils identify people they want to see and have 10 minutes and then a bell rings and people move to another thing. So it really gives them an experience of learning to uh, introduce themselves quickly, make an impact on people and at the end of it, they can normally get at least um, contact details, but hopefully 
some work experience opportunity through that brief encounter. And it really, I think, has been a significant you know, step forward in terms of helping them understand what's required in the business world. I was a parent um, before I became a teacher at Camford and I really liked the atmosphere, the friendliness, the community spirit about, the, about here and certainly my three children had benefited from coming here and they all did different things. My eldest son did art and was very successful and got to the Royal Academy. My daughter uh, did English literature, quite different, and she got to Cambridge and my son did sciences and he's now a doctor. So Camford catered for all three those different uh, demands and help them be successful. So I was very, I liked Camford a lot and then I began to realise that there were things I might be able to offer which Camford wasn't currently doing, like the interview uh, programme or developing non-academic skills. And I contacted the headmaster out of the blue and out of the blue he said come and see me straight away and uh, I then started as a part part-time in the careers department and then a year later I took over and it's been probably the most enjoyable part of my rather late late coming to it but been the most enjoyable part of my career and I really feel that <clears throat> I'm able to you know give you know provide add value really to the kids academic experience. <laughs>